Hello everyone, it's Julie from Camellia Crafts Designs. Welcome back, or welcome. Uh, yeah, I thought it was about time I did another Gadgets and Gizmos. And this is the gadget I'm going to use. It's the, yeah, I don't even know what it's called. Word Punch Board by We Are Memory Keepers. I got this for Christmas, I don't know if it's two or three years ago. It's quite embarrassing really that I tried it and then put it away and I've never used it. In fact, I tried it, left it on my desk to get dusty for a couple of weeks and then put it away. So, I'm going to have a little whirl with it. You can see on the box the kind of things you can do. It cuts out the individual letters so you can make up the word you want. It's, I'm gonna, it's like an unboxing this because I put it back away and box into it. It's, it basically is a set of 26 stamps and a punch board. So, the stamps are all individual like this and I'm a nightmare at getting these apart. There's a knack to it. You forget the knack. I can't do it. This is going to be a video of me trying to get 26 stamps to come apart. I can't do it. I knew this was going to happen. There's a knack to it. I don't know what that knack is. Oh, I've done it. Whoa, I did actually break. I've got a planner punch board as well and I broke one of those getting them apart so let's put it down for now I'll show you at rest I may have to pause the video to take them all apart so yeah there's basically 26 stamps come on come out come out when I get all the stamps out I will then be able to show you the board you might have seen these before you might have seen a tutorial you may not have seen anyone struggle with it quite as much as me Right, this is the little board. If you've got the planner punch board, it's exactly the same. Oh, look, I've got a little letter stuck in there from last time. So, yeah, you basically put... I'll do it with one I've managed to get apart. Can you see what I'm doing? Yes, you can. Right, you've got a guide here with numbers. Lots of numbers. Uh, yeah, they go from 1 to 78. So there's 78 different places you could put these so you pop them in like that and you can basically spell a word I can't do it ow <laughs> I've just even managed to write my finger on a little hook that holds them together woman what you like yeah so you can have them directly next to each other like so that's ovwa. Ovwa. That's his first word. That's silly, isn't it? Oh, these are. I've, I think I've. I've done it. I've developed the knack. I don't, it's weird. It's when it's the last couple I can't do it. So I, I really should keep all these in order. So I'm, I'm going to make some little tags. I've not got any made up yet ready. I'm literally rediscovering this with you. I've got them in right let's find a word i'm going to do the word uh, notes she says oh i'm doing it i'm doing it oh i've done it i've coming apart i shock myself when i manage to do something so i'm going to put the n in first what's that is that the o or the c it's the o because each letter doesn't yeah it doesn't join up completely i find it a bit confusing to know what letters they are i don't honestly know if i like this yet it's just one of them things you get into it it was a christmas present from my kids to me i decide what they're going to be by the way thank you you're saying thank you for my cup of tea that's just arrived i've got no lozenges left to keep the frog away so i thought a cup of tea might do it right we want the e so we've got note and i want an s to make notes where's my s there it is oh, came apart straight away right so we've now got all those in i've just got some pieces of cream card i don't know if this might be a bit thick i honestly don't know so what you do is you pop that in 
to the punch can you see there's a little guide there that you place your card up to and then instead of punching them by hand this little lid punches all of them at once oh we did it so now i have the word notes which you can see i'm quite you know i quite like that and i think i'm going to manage to make something that looks a little bit nicer than those on front they're not my style sure i'm just going to throw it box to one side i'll place it gently place it gently and i'm going to cut this out notes there we, go. there we go can you see yeah i'm in frame i wasn't but i am now i'm just gonna eyeball it so yeah oh, i've got my notes a bit near at top and bottom i just want to cut a little bit more off that yeah so and then I'm just going to layer that onto some craft card. Let's make some little tags. So you could make tabs out of this. You could, couldn't you? You could make tabs out of this. Yeah, could you? I think the letters would be upside down. I don't know if you can. You can't. If you could put those in upside down. But you can't because you're going to have they're going to be on the top edge of the card whatever you do yeah that's a bit a bit sad there's an opening there we are memory keepers to make another set of letters upside down yeah I shouldn't give my ideas and i've just got this card it was an album i've took apart and i'm gonna put that on there so again i'm not measuring I like things to be straight but I don't have to measure everything now I'm getting much better I think that might be about right to give us a nice little border I don't know if that's too much of a border I'll decide in a minute when I've cut it down to right length and I think I'm going to make it a little bit pointy a little bit pointy I like how the craft shows through the cream the letter does show up quite well but i don't think i want such a big border around it no i don't like the border that big so i'm just going to trim this piece down a bit more and then i'll take note i think three quarters of an inch is going to be much better three quarters of an inch i hope i've not made it exactly the same size as the one that says notes now oh no i am oh that's much better I like that smaller border much more yeah and I did get another one of my tools out this it's it cuts I'll show you the corners it cuts on this piece of no I'll use <laughs> can't even decide which piece of card to use yeah just use big one Julie it does just the cross corner like that or it does that yeah so the idea is then you can took photos into little slots you make for him somehow I don't know how to be honest I just use this for making corners at top of tags but I do think yeah it, that's not going to do it we're just going to have to eyeball this by hand or use a card I don't think I've got a card cut to a small enough corner so let's get another card what's this one English heritage oh that expired in February Yes, I haven't really made much use of English Heritage and National Trust cards this year. In fact, I didn't renew them. I tend to let them expire and then renew them just before we go somewhere. I'm terrible. I want to get my money's worth. I'm not paying for three months where I'm going nowhere. And this year's turned into 12 months where we're going nowhere. Hey ho. positives come out of it I've, my business has started to go better with a bit more attention being paid to it I've obviously started my YouTube channel so 
So yeah. I don't know if I like the angle I've cut on that. I think, no, I do think that'll be all right. I'm just going to come in and ink the edge of this cream card. Now I'm doing these cream and craft, but you could do them any colour you want. I just quite like the sim simplicity of these sometimes. I don't even know if I'm going to bother inking the edge of the craft card. I really don't think it needs it. So I'm going to still like it like that. I'm, I've also brought some little rivety things, rivety things. I never know what to call these rivets, eyelets, grommets. I just call them what I want. Yeah, I think I'm going to use gold. I always use gold. I don't know why I own an R and then I always use the same colour gold. That's just our rule. Put a hole there. This is where we'll see if I've cut this tag long enough. Pop that in. Squeeze it up. Yeah, and now let's see. Oh, it's it's just it's just perfect actually. Couldn't have been more perfect that. So I'm going to come in with a bit of glue. I've got into habit of using my art glitter all the time when I don't need to. <laughs> I'm going to use my cosmic shimmer. Does the same job at half the price. I think if you've watched me before you know I'm you know how frugal I can be she says and now my glue won't work I think because this nozzle's so long I need a longer pin but I don't have any longer stainless steel ones but I do always have a big one to hand for clearing it that's better I've just got a big blob of dried glue out at the top one of the few things that I do work very untidy me I've noticed I watch other people and they've got these lovely tidy desks and everything gets put to one side when they've used it nah that's just so not me my desk gets tied at the end of the day or beginning at next morning and then I try and just tidy my craft room once a week because then it's a quick job rather than being a mammoth task. Because I am naturally a very untidy on the outside person. But then everything, and I want everything put away in its proper place. So I can find it again. With a memory like mine, you, you've just got to be like that. So. I'm going to pop that on there. I quite like those I wasn't sure if I were going to like these to be honest they were a lot larger than I expected I don't know why I thought they were going to be smaller you know when you watch things on YouTube or see them sometimes you imagine them a completely different size to what they are and I imagine these to be smaller but I like that now I brought in a bit of string I'm going to pop a bit of string on that tag and then I'm going to call that one finished and then I'm going to make a few more because this will be world's shortest video. Also, you may not have seen, understood how I use that on one go. Look at how I love that. This is a prime candidate for mass making. You could also have one that says thanks. Oh, yeah. Right, let's just crack on with a few more of them because they're good. This Fiona from Miss Paint a Lot would be an ideal live because then other people could choose the words. But I'm not live, I've not mastered that yet. If I had a Mr. Fix it, I'd probably crack on with a live. Because I've already got this in, I'm going to do a couple more that say notes. me likes in fact i'm going to do both sides there saying notes i'm pretty impressed at how it's gone through this card i'd say this was a good 250 gsm right we don't want any more notes 
That'll give me three notes. What other words could we do? do um, I can't think of words now. Do you know what I'm going to do? To I'm going to get my words that I print out. Journey, story, bits and bobs. There isn't an and. That's quite disappointing, that. I don't know. I'll be looking to see whether you can buy the symbols, like and, something and something. I'm going to put the store. I'm going to put... What am I going to put? No! I, can't, I don't know what to put. These are all longer phrases I've got here. And it begins. I'm going to go for it begins. Right, where's my eye? That's my eye. Oh, I've, I can't, don't tell me I've lost knack already. That's it. You've got to hold the one with the letter at the top and then gently press on that and it comes out. I don't know. And then it's really hard with the size of my huge hands when you get to the last couple to do it. Did it. What am I doing? I forgot what I'm putting. It begins. So we want the I. We want the T. And we want the B. We want the E. We want the G. G, 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 G. We want an I and it's there. Oh, this will be interesting. This will be interesting. And I don't know how long this tag's going to end up being. We'll, we'll see, won't we? It begins. Right, so we're missing. I've got those upside down as well. Right, we're going to need to use the I twice. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to put my I... Oh, look, all, all little letters as well end up in here. Watch this. I forgot that. See, I'm showing you how to use something and I don't know, even know what I'm doing. <laughs> look at that. That would make cute confetti. There's no way on this earth I am going to faff about sticking letters that slim on anything. But do you know if you just wanted to do a shaker card that said happy birthday in? Yeah, to keep someone busy forever trying to get letters to fall in exactly the right place and all, wouldn't it? I might use them, so I'm going to save them on the lid of one of my teeny tiny boxes. Who knows? Anyway, back to this. So I'm going to put my I there on the first one. Then my T. I'm going to leave a suitable gap. I don't know how big that gap is for my, before my B. Is that, I don't know if that's suitable. I'm going to, I'm going to test it on a card. Oh no, you don't, I don't need a gap that big. That's just ridiculous. Try it that way. I think that's okay. You know that's a separate word. Yeah. Now let me have a look how many spaces difference. These letters are hard, these numbers are hard to see. So my it is at position nine and my B is at position twenty. So yeah, I've left eleven between. Yeah. So yeah, if I leave at least eleven, it'll look like a separate word. So I T B E G. Now we want the eye again, so I'm going to take nick the eye from there and put it there. Do you know I've just had a better idea for this? Take all them out. What is she like? I'm going to cut these smaller so I don't waste a lot of cardboard, but not so small that they won't fit in. I think yeah, that'll have to do. So then I'm going to put that in there and just do the it. It, yeah, and I'll do the it on the other one. I don't even know if this card's going to be long enough to do begins. <laughs> be funny if we ended up with it begs. It, no, don't even. 
I'm going to abandon that first idea. What we're going to do is do the it, take those out, and then do the begins. But I don't know how long a piece of card I need. So I'm going to put that back in at 20... Did you say 21? Wait, 20. 9 and 20 it were. So that's in at 20. Or at 21? Oh, I don't know. 21. I'm putting it at 21. B... E G I'm going to move the eye over there and then what I'll do when I've done the t begins t begins no way was that going to be long enough this is going to be a huge long tag I don't even know if I'm going to like it I think it might end up being a banner rather than a tag Oh, it's really difficult to press down this many stamps as well, I'm now realising. In fact, I can't do it on this cardstock. I don't know if that's because the cardstock is thick, because I'm weak. It's because the cardstock's thick and I'm weak. Tea begins. <laughs> tea begins. It's time for tea. Yeah, let's have a drink of tea. My throat is getting dry. That quite fortuitous, that's a big word. It's still morning here. It's cracking out words like that is like whoa, slow down, Julie. I'm gonna tip some of my cute little letters out. I'm gonna probably miss as well. They're gonna go everywhere. But you know, I'm never gonna use these letters probably, and I'm saving them. So now I'm missing my eye. I've lost an eye. Then I'm going to come in. Yes, so I've now discovered the more letters you put in at once, the harder it is. I don't even know if I want to make a tag with that. Do you know what I'm going to do with that? I'm going to transform it into a journal card. Yes, I am. I'm just evening up the gap before the I and after the S. That's going to be a journal card. And that's going to be ideal for front pocket in a journal because that is way too long for a tag. So, look, I made a journal card. It almost seemed planned, that, didn't it? It begins. I'm quite, I'm, yeah, I'm quite liking these. I'm going to do another one. So, because we're discovering things about this together, if you put too many letters in at once, it's very hard to press down. So if you did want to do a longer phrase, I would do half then half, I think. Do you know, I'm going to do uh, some of my favourite words. I like to put bits and bobs. I'm going to put do a separate bit and a separate bob. Yeah, I'm going to do a bit and a bob. Yeah, bit and a bob. Right. <laughs> These letters are getting all mixed up now. Yeah. We could play a countdown, couldn't we? For UK ladies, you'll know what countdown is. And even I was messaging one of my customers on Etsy, and I'd said something, and then I apologised in another message for saying it. I said, "Sorry, you may not have understood that. It's it's a bit of a UK thing." And she messaged me back saying, "No, I know exactly what you meant. My favourite thing to watch at minute is Brit Box. I didn't know you could get Brit Box Brit Box in the US." I'm looking for O for Bobs. O. 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 There you are. Found me O. B O. Hold on, I'm going to need another B. So, yeah, I'll find my S. So, rather than guess and get it wrong, I'm going to take my B, put it there. So, we're going to end up with OBS. <laughs> OBS. And then I'll put my other B back in at the beginning. Oh, I think I can get away with short side on this. Yes, I can. Right, why won't, won't that fit? Why won't my card go in the S? What's a care S? Why won't this card go in? What have I done wrong? That is not down far enough. It wasn't my S causing the problem, it was my B. Yeah, so three, very easy to punch. 
so we've now got obs twice so i'm going to put my b back at the beginning take my o and my s out and do my b on my bobs b bobs bobbies i'm getting silly now bobs so we've got two bobs now i want a couple of bits bits and bobs uh i'm going to use that because we didn't use the it be i'm thinking of something i could put there no i really don't know i don't know a word that has anything to do with it be so bits we want next b i yeah so <laughs> i can't remember what i started off explaining b i t I started saying something about difference between things in America and the UK. I then went off on a tangent talking about an Etsy customer and then I totally and utterly forgot what I started talking about. Welcome to my world. That's bits. Oh, this card's going to be just slightly too short. I don't want to waste it though, so I'm going to cut off the letters that didn't make a word and use it like that. bits I <laughs> like it so we could put two separate tags on something that says bits and bobs yeah that'd be cute wouldn't it yes it would let's cut that I hope I haven't cut that too short no I haven't so we're going to do some more bits a couple of bits and a couple of bobs I wish I could remember what I was talking about before totally gone totally gone from my mind if if uh, you need to know answer and it's bugging you you'll have to ask me in comments so we've got bits and bobs joy that's a good one for christmas isn't it joy i'm gonna do joy do you know your mind goes blank you do a video punching out words and then you can't think of a word crazy right we found the why we found i can't find my j J J J J J found me J and there's my O. I want to think that's a C that O. And now I keep saying I know how to do these and I've ah we have the letter at the top and then press there, that's it. When you try and do them upside down it's just not happening and when you've only got two left very difficult i think i'm going to find a larger box for these and store them not joined together because it also hurts my fingers a bit getting them apart right joy we're going to go for so we've got j you don't have to put the first one at the very end i just am because i'm i'm cutting the words very close the card close into the words right i've took them apart now there it is and i lost my y right i think i can get that on that piece of card with the it yeah we can have a couple of a couple of bits of joy one joy two joy you could do names as well i suppose do you know what i'm gonna do my name while we've got the j in j you where's you where are you you Talking to these is not going to make them show themselves, is it? No matter how many times I say it, J, you found you. <laughs> Can you could you joy in my voice? Because <laughs> I found me you. J U L L. Gotcha. Oh, they're coming apart. Lovely now. J U L I and E. Now we've used the I, so it should be somewhere close by. But it's nice it's over there. J O L I E E E. Right, how long am I? Mm, I think I might encroach on my bits. No, I think I'll still get me down that edge and the bits on the end. Let's see how hard I am to punch. <laughs> I always dissolve into silliness. How hard am I to punch? <laughs> Some of you might think I'm quite easy to punch. Oh dear. I just don't like wasting card. 
I've done myself twice. I don't need my name that. Do you know what? I might do my kids' names. I could do, and then I could use them as tags for Christmas. Oh, I like that idea. I really do. Right. Hmm. Well, right, one of my girls is called Rebecca. Rebecca, you just know that name is going to be a nightmare to punch with this board, don't you? So let's give it a whirl. Because there's a lot of words out there where you need the same letter twice, isn't there? And shorter buying two sets of letters, which I wouldn't do. If someone were giving them away, yeah, I'd have them. <laughs> I could do with some punctuation. Didn't even realise I needed punctuation. Don't even know if you can get it. So anyway, Rebecca, R E B Reb. Then another E. So I'm moving that one just so I get my spacing right. Rebecca. Right, because I need two C's. I'm going to put an A there just for the spacing. If you understand me, put my second C in, take that out, put it there. So that's R E B E C C A. Did you follow that? You must have, surely. If I follow it, you must follow it. My new logic. So that's, yeah, I'm a bit tougher to punch. So now I want my E. In that gap i'm going to leave this here to remind me which letters i want i want the e there oh i shouldn't have done that yet should i i'm going to put that back there because i need to line the c up Do you understand me we could count the num the little notches but they're like literally a few millimeters apart so i want the e and the c and i take everything else out and i should have done another one while I've got everything in, if I were going to do another one, but I didn't think of that. I got there, we go. Oh, I like that. Rebecca, oh, yes, right. The other name I'm going to do, I'm going to do the name Jaden. So we want J A Y D D D D D D D Where's D? I think I've got them all apart now as well. Do you know it's hard for me to see because I've got my ring light on for this video and it's shining on my letters. B E and N E and N. So let's do that. Oh, no repeating letters. Love it. There we go. So they're going to make lovely Christmas tags. Such, I think we've got enough of these now. Do you know, I'm going to do the word spring while we're at it because that is going to be the next major season. I could, should just do winter because I've still got some winter projects to finish. In fact, I've got some winter projects to start. I think, I don't know, but I think of winter as being the end of the year, which is very strange because it's not, is it? Winter extends all the way to March when spring begins. But, yeah, I don't know why. I think of winter as ending basically at Christmas and it so doesn't. Winter, where's my R? There we go. I'll grab another bit of card. I'll use more of these other bits of cards when I've cut the tags off that I'm going to use. So we've got winter. That's six letters. This might not be too easy. It's just doable. I think I'd be much comfier doing three. Yeah. It's a bit of a strain. If I stood up, it would probably be easier. So I've done win. If you were mass producing these, you'd obviously do all your first half of the word and then do all your second halves of the word. I'm only going to do two. Because it might be a bit boring watching me keep doing the same word. 
yeah sorted now I'm going to put those over to one side I'm going to have a quick drink of my tea and then I'm going to show you how I did these tags again it's really easy I mean even if you haven't got this don't intend getting this you can still make the tags well we had a tag but I've seemed to have lost it I don't know how I managed to lose so many things without standing up and moving very far here it is so we've got notes there and yeah let's do the winter one do you know i think i may even back the winter one onto some nice blue card that would look nice but i don't know where there is any blue card offhand so i'll do one on craft we'll do winter and we'll do a bit and a bob You know, I should know how wide these are. Did we do? Yeah, it'll be too small an area to cut. So I'm just still going to eyeball this. They're not, each tag's not going to go on the same project. So if they are slightly different in size, it's really not going to matter too much. So we've got bits. We've got Julie. Winter. Yeah, I'm still gonna do it. I'm gonna keep with the craft and do this on craft. I'm looking for the one piece of card I started to cut. How oh, I then cut the corners off, didn't I? That's <laughs> don't worry, I won't pull that trigger down while my fingers are under blade. I'm just judging where to cut that. I think that's gonna be good. Yeah. And do you know what? I'm going to do a couple more widths. I'm not aiming to get all these perfectly the same. Now the other end of my card has started to come onto the... So, onto the edge of the board. I can measure these five. So they're basically what, uh, three quarters of an inch. I think we said that before. So I'm going to keep cutting this off in three quarter of an inch. Strips, and then we've got lots done I'll have enough done to do more tags than I'm actually going to be doing today but that'll be good I'll have them done ready line you up I might leave that one I think I like that that might look good on or in something so we now need to make sure all our tags, I could do this with scissors but I just can't cut straight with scissors if I'm not cutting along a line. I think I've said this many times before. So that's winter done. I think even putting my punch right up to the very edge it still leaves me, leaves me with a little bit more white than I would like. So we've got a winter. I think I just did that one key even with me. Bit it bit it oh that were gonna be it begins. I could not work out what that word was. So we've done a bot, Bob's a winter, we're gonna do a bits. Yeah, let's do some bits. So yeah, I, I love this tiny trimmer. I can line that up. See what I get. Ooh, that might have been a bit near to the bottom of my letters, actually. I don't like that. I've spoilt that one now. Oh no, poor bits. I did another bits, didn't I? Don't tell me we're going to left with going to be left with a bit and no bob. Oh, that's tragic, that, isn't it? I know I had another bob. There you are, bob. No idea how long this video has gone on for. You can watch it as long as you want. It's one of those where you get the gist of it in the beginning. And it's just me messing now, isn't it? So, do you know, I might be brave and cut these strips with my scissors. So we've got bobs. 
and I think I've made that strip a bit wider than I wanted. Oh, I can live with that one. I like that. Yeah, that's me bob. Get your scissors out, girl, and be brave. I know you've got them somewhere. Ooh. Can you see that? That is like on a big slope. That is not straight. This is why I don't cut things with scissors. I'm now going to try and straighten it up. I'll probably get it wonky in the other direction and then have to come in with trimmer. Actually, it's not bad. Not not three bad at all. Do you know I'm going to try? No, I'm not going to freestyle cutting the corners off. That would be bad. I'll tell you what I could do. I could cut one. Aha! Uh -huh. Then I could use that to line up my next corner without having to cut into a plastic card. And then I could turn those around to do each other. Yeah. I hope you have a clue what I'm doing here. It's just, I just want to make sure that the cut an even slant off. Uh. So I'm using both the tags to cut the same slant as the first freehand what I did. Yay! Was that the one that fit my bob? Yeah, that's perfect for my bob. I think I should have enough ink on this, have I? No, I need a little more. Yeah, quite, I quite like these. You can make them in all sorts of fancy colours. I think you could use these as little stencils as well, couldn't you? To ink the word Bob onto something. <laughs> if you need a Bob, there you go. Let's ink Bob. Sorry, Bob. I like that. I'm going to use art glitter for this because, as we saw last time, it's coming out a lot slower, my cosmic shimmer. It needs unblocking. I don't know. It must be the metal tip. I'm going to try, I think, putting a metal tip on my cosmic shimmer. See whether that works. I think it should do. I've got some spare metal tips. I used to buy another glue that came with a metal tip and it was really good. When I was card making, it was a tattered lace glue. Again, the glue not so cheap, but the bottle did have a removable metal tip. Oh, I like that. Okay, how do I have? Yes, <laughs> I have dry baby wipes. I tidied up some of my shelves the other day, and I found quite a few packs of baby wipes with a few in that had all gone dry. You know when you put them on the top of something and then it falls down back? It's the brilliant for getting these bits of glue off. I've got a little bit of glue there inside my bee and it's not coming out of my baby wipes. So I'm going to poke it out with a pin. I know it's going to dry clear but you will see it. That's better. So there's my bob. I now need my corner chomper. No, I don't. I need my... Yeah. Words are failing me again. I need my crocodile. Yay. I noticed on the last video I did, I kept calling... Was it stamps? I kept getting the name of stamps wrong. What's that all about? We know what a stamp is. Yeah, I use the wrong word for things all the time. I, I do it in everyday situations. My kids know what I'm like. It's like they know my little code for things. And I'll, at tea time, I'll say, right, are we ready for some breakfast, kids? And they're like, yeah. Because they just know it means food. I may have got the wrong meal, but they know it means food. Oh, there we go. So we've now got a bob. I think I'm going to marry Bob up with a bit. I'm not going to bring the trimmer back into view just to do this little bit of chopping. I'm not even going to attempt to cut this one down with scissors because we know it'll be a disaster. I think I'll stick my bit on and then, 
than I think. Yeah, I made that one a bit too wide. I think we're going to use that one. Yeah, I'm going to ink my bit, stick it on, and then I'm going to chop the brown down. I suppose if I were mass producing these, I could, especially if I were using a 12 by 12 card, I could get a 12 inch strip and stick all my words on first, and then I could go down it, cut it, and then do all my holes at once, my holes. Yeah, punch all my holes and put all my rivets in, eyelets. But I've just been messing and playing with this today. That's one of my other little words I like to put on things, oddments. Oddments would be quite a long word to do for this. I think again that would be good along the top of a journal card. Right, put your bits on. Yeah. There you go. I got my bits stuck down. Bits and bobs ended up being the same length as each other. So I'm just going to use the length of my bob tag to do my bit tag. <laughs> Go on, be brave. Use your scissors. I'm going to use the top of that tag to line up. Yay. And then I'm also going to use that tag to get the angle. I've noticed this, my bit tag's a little bit narrower than my bob tag. But I don't think world's going to end. That one didn't end up being the same angle either. Because the difference in width, that's good enough. So let's punch my bit. we punch punched Bob. <laughs> me and Bob aren't fared well in this video. We're getting punched. Put another eyelet in. I like the cute, aren't they? These I'm liking putting extra smaller tags on to large tags now as well. I think it's a cute look, and we'll finish them off. Look at the mess I've met. Look at the mess of my desk is. My desk always looks like I've been burgled by Andrew Video. I watch other people and they just have this lovely clean desk and this beautiful project in the middle. Now I just have all this randomness with a few bits I've made in the middle. Right, here we go. Do some string on my tags. I want the length of string roughly the same so I'll just roughly measure it. I think these are quite simple but quite effective. Not everything has to be fancy. But yeah, it's, it's going to be fabulous doing my, putting my kids' names on the presents with these. I suppose you could leave little messages around the house, couldn't you? <laughs> I'm already thinking. I could hang one above the sink saying, wash up. And then I could hang one next to it saying, please. Yeah. So, there we have. There's the three that I've finished. There's my notes and my bits and my bobs. So, yes. I think the verdict is I quite like this and I am going to use it. It's quite... It's, I'm terrible for buying things that I want in that moment and then not using them. But to be honest, I didn't want this in the moment. I just wanted to spend, <laughs> uh, yeah, a decent amount of money on myself for Christmas from my children. So they bought me this. They probably haven't even got a clue they bought it me, this one. This year, though, actually, they are choosing and looking for what they're buying me. And I want a wax melt kit. Yeah, so they're looking. They're going to choose the colour of the waxes to, like, yeah, their favourite colours. I don't think you can go wrong. I think every colour on Amazon is a colour I would use. And they're going to choose a couple of stamps for me. I've told them it has to be something I can use for my journals. So they should do well. So there you have it. The We Are Memory Keepers word punch board. And my 
bits, my bobs and my notes. So, yeah, that's either one for your Christmas list or one. I've got to be honest, the price of it, I think, I don't know how much it was when I bought it. I think you can get it for like £25 now. It really depends on how much you would use it, doesn't it? Is it worth £25 to make one tag? Or if you're going to use a lot of tags, which I have a feeling I now will, it, it, yeah, I think it were worth it. And as a present, I tend to choose the things as presents that I'm a bit, is it worth it? And I'm always like that with these punch boards and things. They're fabulous for mass making things. But you think, is that investment really worth it for what I do? And that's one for you to decide, isn't it? Anyway, I've showed you how to use it. I like it now, I've decided. And yeah, I'm going to use it some more. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed that because it was very rambly. But, yeah, there is someone called a rambling crafter. I can't have that name, but I think it will be very fitting. Anyway, thank you very much. I will see you next time with finishing off my Edith journal, the very last part. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.